The inherent focus of uh, the way that Parkinson's disease is managed uh, traditionally has been to look at the motor um, features of Parkinson's, so the tremor, the bradykinesia, rigidity and postural disequilibrium. However, we know um, through research uh, and actually what happens in the clinic environment that actually it's the non-motor symptoms uh, that actually detract from the patient's quality of life the most. Symptoms such as orthostatic hypertension, sleep disturbance, uh, detrusor hyperreflexia, constipation, uh, dementia, sleep disturbance, all of those things um, really uh, detract from quality of life for our patients. Um, I find these really tricky to manage, but my experience has, um, in treating these patients means that I think I can um, uh, help people um, manage these in the whole. And actually a holistic approach to people with Parkinson's disease is very necessary in order to give them the quality of life that they deserve. During my talk, I focus um, on the identification of these uh, very challenging symptoms and how they can sometimes masquerade as primary complaints. Once we've identified the symptoms, it's then important to go on and treat them, and this can be in several ways. First of all, we can start with conservative measures and then move on to the more pharmacological uh, treatments.